Hi, welcome to this overview of the Dynamics 365 Power Apps Portals template for supply chain management. So you'll notice I am starting here in Finance and Operations, as this template is focused on supply chain management data. But to make this work, this portal that I have here on, is using the Common Data Service, which has now been renamed to Dataflex Pro as a database. So that means it relies on dual write to get the data from essentially your model-driven app or Dataflex Pro database into finance and operations, supply chain management. Now let's talk about the portal here. So this is the portal template. And it's one of the new ones. When you try to spin it up, it will tell you that you have to have dual write configured first. So that is a prerequisite to using this template. But once you have that set up, then the template is just like any other Power Apps Portals template. You can add pages, um, edit pages, uh, anything like that. So you can access any of the data stored in Dataflex Pro or the common data service. And so this template gives you a few tiles here on the home page. Um, again, this is once you've authenticated. This is governed by security. So um, the logged in user, based on their permissions, they might be an admin. They might see some admin functions. Um, they might be able to create orders or just read-only orders. So your portal security will govern what they can do and also which customers they have access to. And so what you can do here is you can view the current data. So maybe I placed an order and I want to allow my customers to go in and see the status of it. And so I'm showing them here on this tile active orders for the customer that they have access to. And they can always click on this, see the status, or they can actually go into one and look at the line items or what was on this order if they wanted to. Notice that we also, this portal template also gives them the ability to create orders. So if I go here, and create a new order. Now there's some basic information that Dynamics 365 supply chain management requires in order to create an order. And so we've defaulted a lot of these fields for the customer. So they can just hit next. And this should create the first step of this order information is basically the order header. So it'll create this header level information for me. And then step two is to add line items. So let's quickly add one as an Example, we grab a product. Now this is looking at the products stored in CDS or Dataflex Pro. And those are also synced up via dual write. So this data is essentially directly integrated with finance and operations. Let's put in a quantity. I'll leave the rest as defaults. Submit that line item. So notice I've got quantity of 12 at 37. Let's hit next. We'll just put this order through so we can see it. So once I hit submit on this, I would expect to see this order and line item in my model driven app, basically my Dataflex Pro database, and then immediately in sales. So if we go here, refresh, should see a new order come in. And also if we go to this page, and let me refresh this. We should see no new order popping at the bottom, the J5T2Z5. And again, the status should all match in all systems because it is all synced up via dual write. So I see acoustic phone panels, $37, with quantity of 12, same thing we had in the portal, as well as acoustic phone panel, quantity of 12 at 37 as a unit price. And now dual write will keep this data in sync. You know, as we fill in data or it goes through the process um, and the status has changed, it will reflect, be reflected in the portal.